Hi everyone. Uh, if you don't know me already, my name's Richie Andrew. Um, I'm the person who uh, was involved in starting up the Burman Can campaign, and since I've met probably tens, maybe a hundred different uh, agencies, uh, loads of different champions, or probably well over a hundred, and loads of blokes who have changed uh, their lives and shared their stories as well. And Burman Can, the campaign, is is all about basically men sharing their stories to inspire other men to do the same, making positive changes to their lifestyle, um, the impacts on the health, and that includes mental health as well. We want to try and, one of the things we want to try and do with the campaign is is prevent suicides in males and allow males to come forward um, and get support earlier. We also wanted services to take more of a, um, a, a specific approach towards men's health because men need different approaches towards health. Um, in 2018... I personally sent out a request to the Fuse Network, a research network in the northeast, asking for researchers to come forward, apply for funding, to find out from Burman Khan what it, how good a job it had done so far, what people's thoughts of it from agencies, people who had, who had come up against the campaign, if they had they heard of it, had had they not heard of it, what did, what does it do well, what could it do better, and what direction should we take it for the future. And I was privileged to be joined by a lady called Shalina Vizram, who's a um, public health uh, lecturer from T Newcastle University, with a series of other colleagues from across um, other universities in the northeast, with just an incredible amount of experience between them. And they've been supporting us to, to lead this availability assessment. What's even better is that some champions were became peer researchers to do interviews for the research as well. The, I'm just about to take a look at the draft report. Um, which we released, I think, towards the end of November. But we have an event um, coming up at the end uh, on November the 19th, on Friday, November the 19th, at 1 o'clock till 2.30. And it's a bit of a presentation for myself, but mainly from the researchers, to tell you about the the outcome of that research um, and to find out more about Burman Khan. So this presentation will tell you about Burman Khan, this webinar, it'll tell you about Burman Khan, it'll tell you about what the researchers said, and what potentially the the recommendations might be for going forward. So if you have anything of an interest in in men's uh, men's health um, within the South Tees area from Middlesbrough Redcar, I'd like you to either attend or forward on to someone you know who should. Um, and the other thing I would just like to add in there is one simple thing, which is this. Um, if you can't make the event, um, it's, if you still register for it, or forward your details on to Shalina, whose details are in the... Um, the attachment that I'm including on the link here, then um, you can. We're going to record the event, so we'll be able to send the event to you afterwards. Because Borough Man Can is going to be doing a lot more soon, uh, including getting Borough Man Can partners up to date and any men's health services locally added to our boroughmancan.co.uk website. So please support the event, uh, support Borough Man Can campaign, um, and share this wide if you possibly can. I look forward to seeing you at the event on the day. Thanks very much.